Hello everyone, today we'd like to talk about what it costs to live in Peru or more specifically in our city of Arequipa. All of the costs that we've compiled are for a two-person household since that's what we are. We've converted everything into dollars instead of soles since um, that's what most people will be familiar with. And all these costs are per month unless otherwise stated. So um, these prices are meant to be a general kind of guideline or a general idea for costs and were gathered in late 2017 and early 2018 in Arequipa. Uh, we categorized the video according to what we felt would, were the most important items for daily living and we tried to make it uh, general enough that anyone can use these as a starting point if you are planning to move to Peru. And we should also note that all of our experience is in Yanawara, which is one of the uh, more expensive neighborhoods in Arequipa. So if you're thinking about another area town, that might be less expensive. The first big item we'd like to talk about is housing. And I think it's safe to say that the price of housing in Yanawara is probably between 125 to 150% the normal around the city of Arequipa. For example, a large home that is 375 square meters or 4,000 square feet that has five to six bedrooms and an attached garage will come out at about $2,000 a square meter or $185 a square foot. Um, and so we've seen homes in Yanawara selling for between $500,000 to $750,000. Um, these are not new constructions and are probably in need of significant repairs. Or instead of buying a home, We've been seeing a lot of departamentos, which are kind of like a condo or a flat. These are less costly. We've found that you can find a three to four bedroom flat, which runs approximately $1,000 per square meter. We've seen several flats that have about 120 square meters or 1,200 square feet for between $120,000 and $140,000. There's a lot of new construction in Yanawara, so there are a lot of flats available. On the other side of the housing coin is renting, and so we've looked a lot in Yanawara and Kaima, and again, they have probably the highest housing costs that we've seen in Arequipa, but there are a lot of good deals out there. A brand new three-bedroom apartment, for example, with about 125 square meters, runs for about $620 a month. Um, this is probably close to the most you'd pay in Yanawara or Kaima. Uh, the average apartment prices for a two to three bedroom apartment likely run between $400 to $550 per month. We got lucky with our apartment. Um, while it's a little crusty and older, it's super close to the neighborhood plaza, and we pay less than $300 a month. It's a large two bedroom apartment. Um, like I said, the building's pretty old, but it works really well and it's in a great area. The next items we'll talk about are electricity and utilities. So with electricity, the nominal or all-in cost of electricity is around 21 cents a kilowatt hour. We use around 40 to 60 kilowatt hours a month. So our bills land right around $11.35 a month. Uh, another important note is that we have a solar water heater, so we don't actually have any cost for heating, uh, heating water with electricity or heating it with natural gas. And as for water, we don't use a whole lot. We're very aware that we live in a desert city, so we try to cut that down. We spend right around $4.90 per month. We do also utilize kind of a faux gray water system that we use to water plants and do other things with, so that helps cut down our cost as well. Next is cell phone and internet. So many of these cell phone companies in Peru offer very similar services for similar prices, as well as for home internet service. So for cell phone service, the major difference is in coverage. Uh, we have a phone plan with Claro, which is one of the biggest telecoms in Latin America. Uh, we get six gigabytes of the internet, unlimited minutes and text for about $29.50 per month. Claro and other telephone service providers offer a lot of mid-range phones and other devices. We bought a Samsung J7 for about $31 with a signed contract. Many telecoms also offer home internet service. Cable internet service is available in most places in Arequipa and a contracted plan for unlimited access with 30 megabytes per second broadband from Clara runs about $32.50 per month. Next up is transportation. So getting around Peru is usually very cheap and easy to access. There are tons of taxis around the city. Uh, a taxi ride in Arequipa runs about $1.50 for a 10 minute trip. From the airport to the city center costs no more than $7.75. There are also a lot of buses or colectivos, and that's probably the cheapest and best option to get around if you don't mind getting packed in with the rest of the passengers. In Arequipa, a bus ride costs about $0.30 cents per ride, no matter the length. 
but the trick is you have to find the right route. Per month, our normal taxi and bus use runs us about $29.50 a month. So there are also a lot of companies that offer intercity bus service. So for example, a round trip ticket from Arequipa to Tacna, which is about uh, five and a half hours away, is about $17. A one way between Arequipa and Cusco is about $25. Uh, if you have a car or are you're renting a vehicle, gasoline prices in Peru for regular grade runs around $3.70 a gallon. Next we'll talk about laundry. Our apartment doesn't have a washer and dryer here, but there's lots of regular laundry services available in all cities in Peru, um, and you can easily find dry cleaning services as well. For dry cleaning and regular laundry services, we spend about $27.83 a month. However, we do hand wash a lot of our laundry at home to cut down on that cost. And finally is food. So we spend an average of about $500 a month, and that's between the two of us. And that includes groceries and a fair amount of dining out. We've included mostly staple foods with a few special items like laundry and hygiene items, along with some things you might recognize from the States. We've also included some prices for dinner and a movie.